Hi, I'm Ellie. I am a B3 climber training for Paraclimbing Nationals. So here I am on BART making my way over and I figured out that I do not have my AirPods in my AirPod case. So no music on BART for me. And I don't want to be that person who listens to their music on their speaker. That's weird. That's gross. Don't do that. Here I am walking down the stairs from BART now that I've gotten to my location to find our friend Janice. And up next is the beautiful sunset that was there that day. So we're driving to the gym now and here we are all right so here at ironworks is two competition style routes that the route setters made just for us low vision climbers so on the left is me climbing this purple route and what's really cool about this is there is the crack climb in the middle of it um, and on the right here is kevin on the yellow super pinchy competition route so they are both super fun um, routes to climb except the yellow one uh, there's also a green one that is peaking on the right side of my climb here and I did a really cool split screen effect so you can see both Kevin and I climbing at the same time which honestly looks really cool because you can see our strategies and everything now fun fact Kevin is actually shorter than me so you can see how our bodies are working in different ways but a fun fact about Kevin is he's insanely strong, and I just have a little extra height on my side here. But he is working his way up the wall and just pinching and grabbing. I'm doing a full, like, heel leg hook, and I'm trying to adjust it to see how I can stand around and everything. Kyle on the ground is telling me to just go up. Just put your toe there instead. Um, and I'm having a great time playing around with it. Kevin is on the super pinchy route, and that is, sounds like Pump City to me, so I don't really like that route there. But what's funny is in the left clip, Kevin's belaying me, and in the right clip, I am belaying Kevin. And funny story, while I was belaying Kevin, I muted all the audio from that, but um, there's a super rude dude who wanted to use the hangboard, which we were right in front of because... The hangboard is so close to a route that it's almost impossible to be out of the way of that hangboard. But this super rude guy was trying to be like, uh, can you move? Can you move your dog? Can like you move everything? I'm like, I will when I'm done playing. I need to make sure my climber is safe. Thanks. So on the left here, I'm almost at the top of the route. I'm just playing around, um, enjoying some of the holds here. Kevin is shaking out his arms, getting a little bit stuck. The calling is really hard on that route because you're basically just grab something and he's swinging off the wall a little bit here, but he's gonna try to get back on the wall. So I'm doing a nice heel hook. I figured out that I really like doing heel hooks and sometimes I don't even pay attention when I do them. I just throw heel hooks in there randomly. Kevin's trying to strategize if he is gonna come down or if he's gonna keep fighting. And I am almost at the top. Just a big, one more big push from me and I'll be there. And Kevin is gonna come down after this and I have reached the top. So off to our next climb. This was a really cool idea and I think we'll keep doing the split clip in the future to show different climbing styles. All right, so here's some cool background information about this climb here. So up in the top right of the screen here is one of the PCH's closest friends, Stacy, and she is crazy with the camera because she will climb up a route and shoot some overhead shots of someone climbing. So I was thoroughly trying to climb this black route here and Stacy came in, made it a photo shoot, and so you get to see some of the coolest pictures on the social medias that have ever been taken of me. And that's all because of Stacy and her crazy climbing abilities. So Shout out to her and her photography for making me look super ripped in those photos because I'm just having a fun time getting up here, but she did the magic. So you can just watch all of the cool stuff as she's taking pictures. I'm flailing around. I'm trying to have a fun time. I'm not sticking to this wall at all. My hands are sweaty. At least my arms look good though. So does my hair. My hair is bright pink. Actually, surprise, this is the first debut of having pink hair in a video. And I don't think I mentioned it to anyone. But yes, I cut off 
Most of my hair, I got bored, I played with it, and I dyed it hot pink for nationals. So here is my beautiful hot pink hair, and Stacy got some great shots of me with my pink hair and climbing. And off to the next clip, I'm going to do this purple route here, we're just doing my safety checks. And then I will be going up the purple route. It's actually kind of hard to see the purple here in the video, but the purple, I somehow flew up this, and... I really enjoyed climbing the purple. I feel like I had a great time. You can see me having a little of a, a bouncy start there. But then I just kind of fly up the rest of the way. I use a little staircase there that's been implemented. I bring my arms up, lean into a hold, do a nice high right foot. My goal when I'm on some slab walls is to just stretch and reach, and that's some of the funnest parts, honestly, just seeing how flexible I am. And then it's the complete opposite for when you're on an overhang. You want to be as tiny as possible um, and have your arms as straight as possible, and uh, you know, just overhangs kind of suck and I'm scared of them, but we, we don't, we don't want to talk about that. Because, look at me, I'm on a slab ball, and look at how close I am to the top here, I'm just flying up it, which is crazy because I'm usually a very slow climber, so having a quick climb is just one of those things that's out of the ordinary. So I am almost to the top here, I'm just a couple holds left, and I think I'm grabbing the top one now, here I am, we topped it, and we are coming down. All right, speaking of overhangs, this is the famous campusing pink overhang route that is at Ironworks, and I'm gonna climb it, but I am super pumped from the entire session today, so I am just gonna take my time, I'm gonna take it slow, and we'll see how high I get. I'm literally saying I'm at least gonna get there, and I'm pointing to the starting holds. So that's where we're at and it's overhung and I'm not good at that yet so we're just gonna see how far I can get and go up there like I said I'm super tired so I'm making quick progress here actually I'm throwing myself up but you can definitely tell that it's not controlled movements it's literally just me trying to power through it with my muscles rather than me being a climber so here I am, There's I'm about to grab this big, kind of almost rectangle looking jug hold, which is always a nicer hold than you think it will be. And I am going to move up. Never mind, I came down. Alright, well that was all my climbing for this video, so I hope to see you guys in the next one, and have a great day, and subscribe, and bye!